Let's take a trip to the 80s. For a lot of people who were alive during the 1980s, you must have had one moment or the other that you consider memorable and would love to relive if you had the opportunity. For those who weren't alive then, you should keep watching this video. You just might learn a thing or two. Welcome back to the America's Trip Down Memory Lane channel. In this video, we will be looking at the popular things of the 1980s. The 1980s seems somewhat closer to the century than you would think. So you might have this idea that it probably wasn't so different. That really isn't correct. As times change quicker than you know, and the 80s had some very peculiar things that just made it an amazing time to be alive. Movies In every decade and every century, movies have been proven to serve as a memorable moment for a lot of people, even in the 21st century. Some movies have been called all-time favorites, but some of these all-time favorites come from the 1980s, and they have so much nostalgia attached to them. Some of the all-time favorite 1980s movies include Karate Kid, The Breakfast Club, Pretty in Pink, Star Wars, and many more. Even though some of these movies are like 40 years old, they have managed to remake themselves and even become popular in this decade. Which is really hard to pull off for an old movie. These movies may still be fan favorites today, but you remember when they were brand new. Even 30 years later, Molly Ringwall probably has a place in your heart. One of the reasons why these movies were also popular was because of the actors in them. From The Breakfast Club to Sixteen Candles, most people didn't see these John Hughes-helmed movies as a distraction from the real world. They were blueprints of their personal identities as teenagers. Were you a Blaine or a Ducky? If that reference makes no sense, your youth wasn't defined by Pretty in Pink. And we can't relate. Star Wars is another movie that has managed to captivate hearts since the 1980s, when Luke Skywalker learned that Darth Vader was his father because one of the most well-known lines in pop culture history, but nothing compares to hearing it for the first time in a movie theater and not knowing for sure if Darth Vader was telling the truth. Walkman Players People of this day and age have their phones and can just connect their AirPods to them to listen to some music. It is easier and way simpler than how it was in the 80s. And no, I'm not even talking about iPods. This goes a bit further than those devices. The device that everyone used to listen to music in the 1980s was the Walkman player. The Walkman was created in 1979 and it allowed people to listen to cassette tapes on the go. It later became CD compatible in the 90s and was known as a Discman. But during the 1980s, having a Walkman gave you all the cool points. Portable music listening is often taken for granted in this age, but back in the 1980s, trying out a Walkman player for the first time felt like nothing short of a revolution. This device allowed anyone to listen to their favorite songs while out in the world, and they could do it privately, without forcing their musical tastes on the general public or using those huge loud boom boxes. Rubik's Cube Testing one's ability to solve the Rubik's Cube didn't start in this decade. Heck, it didn't start in this century. And the Rubik's Cube has been around for a lot longer than 20 years. It was a kid's favorite in the 1980s and was so popular that every kid wanted to get their hands on one. The Rubik's Cube has been puzzling kids and adults alike since it was invented in 1974, but it was at the peak of its success in the early 80s. In fact, one of the best-selling books of 1981 was The Simple Solution to Rubik's Cube, written by James G. Norse, a chemistry professor. It was a really fun thing to do, and any free time during the school days was spent trying to figure out the hot new toy, the Rubik's Cube. Mixtapes Have you ever created a mixtape or had someone make a mixtape for you? If you haven't had any of those experiences, then you probably missed out on a lot of things. Mixtapes were a 1980s thing and are pretty similar to making a playlist on any one of your music apps in this decade. The art of creating a mixtape has been lost on the younger generations and there was something awfully personal about stressing over song choice and placement with limited minutes to fill, as well as actually handing over a physical tape that sending a playlist link just can't convey. It was one of the cutest ways of professing one's love to another person, and your mixtape said all you needed to say to that person in the form of a variety of songs. But as we know, everything comes back eventually, even cassette tapes, so maybe the mixtape is on its way back too. Just say no. That must have sounded like the weirdest thing to say to anyone in this current day and age, and you are probably confused about what it means, especially if you didn't experience the 1980s. People who did experience the 1980s probably have an idea of what this phrase actually means. Just say no. 
was an anti-drug campaign directed by Nancy Reagan during her husband's presidency after she said the phrase at an elementary school visit in 1982. She traveled around the country and filmed PSAs restating that all you had to do to stay drug-free was just say no. It became even more rampant when popular 80s sitcoms started airing very special episodes about drug awareness in which the characters would also just say no. Even though it ingrained in every 80s kid's brain, there are studies that show that Just Say No and programs like it actually sort of backfired. Who would have expected that a simple phrase didn't work out the way they planned, right? Regardless of its effectiveness, the First Lady's campaign around the country and guest appearances on shows like Different Strokes is something everyone who lived through the 1980s will remember. Trapper Keeper I will not lie, this doesn't even sound like something that anybody born in the 2000s or after would probably know about. People from the year 2000 and above didn't get to experience the joy of having a trapper keeper unless one of your parents or relatives had one and you came across it. There was something energizing about the rip of a trapper keeper velcro sleeve being opened. It felt like your personal papers were the most protected things in the world and nobody could break into a trapper keeper without alerting everyone in a one mile radius. The sound of the velcro rip from the trapper keeper opening might as well be a time machine as it takes people who lived through the 1980s all the way back to their first day of school, organizing their papers. They first appeared on the scene in 1978 and for years they were the must have school supply. The Challenger Explosion the 1980s were filled with a lot of memories, some of which were great, however, not all of them were something that people who lived through the 1980s would like to remember. There were some memories that are just too sad to think of, and the Challenger explosion is one of those memories. The Challenger disaster is a day that lives on forever in the memories of 80s kids. It happened on January 28, 1986, and is often described as a horror that didn't seem real, even as it was happening in front of many eyes on live TV. It really was something many people still have not been able to make sense of to this day. Krista McAlfey, a teacher from Vermont, had been selected to become the first civilian in space as part of NASA's Teacher in Space project, and thus most schools across the US watched the broadcast live. Students across the country witnessed the Challenger fall apart after 72 seconds, tragically killing all seven people aboard. The heartbreaking moment when the Space Shuttle Challenger exploded will forever be seared in the memories of anyone who lived through the 1980s. There are a lot of other things that many people who lived through the 1980s will remember quite well, which goes to prove that the 80s was really a fun time for those who experienced it. Thanks for watching the video, hit us up in the comments section and give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos.